Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I hope you're doing great. And in this video today, we are preparing a wonderful baggy eyes solution. In this recipe, we are going to use the skin healing ingredients and all of them are wonderful. So to say natural remedy for the under eye puffiness and dark circles. So we shall jump to the recipe right away so we could learn how you can prepare this wonderful solution. And then we'll talk about each of the ingredients, why it is so beneficial and why you should use it in your skincare. Well, let's see how we can prepare this wonderful recipe. The first ingredient we're going to use is oil. You could use either rose hip seed oil or the evening primrose oil, so whatever you have on hand. We shall need it in the amount of half an ounce. Half an ounce equals three teaspoons or one tablespoon. So, you, of course, you could uh, reduce the amount. So just um, to try it out and see how it works for you. So this is going to be three teaspoons right here. The next ingredient is going to be aloe vera gel in the same amount of half an ounce or three teaspoons. It might be a little bit of a struggle because it's like gel. No, it actually easy this time. It's easy when the bottle is full. So you just need to try to mix it. So it's, uh, the solution is properly mixed. And then we'll just add essential oils. So it's really very, very easy. See? Incorporate it very, very well. So let's use the essential oils now. I'm going to use nine drops of lavender essential oil, and this is going to be 2% dilution. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So 9 to 10 drops. 9 drops is like, you know, if you want to be precise for this amount of teaspoons, but normal dilution of lavender essential oil is 2 to 5 percent, so 9 to 10 drops is perfect. So now lemon essential oil, I am going to use 4 drops only, and that is going to be 1 percent dilution. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I have two options. You could either transfer it to a spray bottle and you could also transfer it to the bottle with the roller. And that is what I'm going to use. I'm going to get a small fennel here. You know, we'll need to give it a little time because it's uh, thick. You just do like that and then a little more. Here today I am using the 10 milliliter roll-on bottle so there is a little bit of the solution left so I'm going to use it just uh, like that. Now you just um, close your bottle and uh, put the lid on. You could use um, fancy little bottles you know if you want to make a gift it also works perfectly well. So we are all done and this is as simple as it is. Now once we know the recipe for this um, wonderful solution. Let's talk about the ingredients. So I give you two options of using either evening primrose oil or rose hip oil. So talking about uh, primrose oil, the evening primrose oil, it is really a wonderful oil out there and it's a great moisturizer. It also provides your skin with essential nutrients and healthy fats. It really makes your skin look glowing, young and healthy and the skin becomes really, really soft. Besides its anti-inflammatory benefits, are wonderful for swelling, for the inflammation in your skin, for any type of itchiness or rashes, and even the redness. Besides, it's also a great remedy for treating acne, as it is believed, and um, also for treating eczema. So the next oil that we were using today in the recipe is rosehip seed oil. Every time you're using this type of oil, you do need to make sure that you buy really a high quality product so you could really experience all the benefits. So this oil obviously it nourishes the skin, but also increases the cell turnover. It contains vitamins E, C, D, and even beta carotene. That is a form of vitamin A. This oil is rich in essential fatty acids and they in turn help the tissue regeneration. The lavender essential oil that we were using is really a very strong antioxidant oil. This is also a great idea to use it on your skin and any other skincare products. Besides, we're using this solution in the evening time, which makes it even better because lavender is a very strong relaxant, so it really can improve your sleep. And now lemon essential oil, it is also a very strong antioxidant and it helps to nourish our skin. 
So aloe vera here works as a skin healer and also as an anti-inflammatory agent. So now the way you could use this um, solution, I mean, I, I have said that you could use it either in a spray bottle or in a roll-on button because sometimes, you know, spray bottle might be a little bit more of a struggle because aloe vera gel is thick. But, well, if you're using a spray bottle, you just uh, close your eyes and spray it all over your face or just, um, you know, around the eye area. If you're, you could also spray it in a cotton ball and then apply it on the under eye area or any, you know, area on your face that you want to treat with that solution. So if you're using a roll-on button, well, the, it's going to be exactly the same way, but you just roll it on around the eye area. I always strongly recommend to do a patch test before using any new skincare product or makeup product or, and obviously any homemade DIY product. This rule works for everything new to your skin, so you don't really get upset when something doesn't work for you. It doesn't mean that the recipe is bad, it means that Everyone's skin is so different, we are all very different, and the reaction in different products can really vary, so we always need to remember that. Once you're applied on the area, you will need to gently massage it and let it dry, and then you go to sleep. Of course, we all need to know that under eye puffiness uh, might be a cause of a serious you know, uh, health condition, or it might be because you're drinking too much water just before going to sleep, or that your pillow is too low or you sleep without any pillow, or probably your sleeping position might affect your under eye bags in the morning. Besides, if you're drinking alcohol, prior going to sleep, but it might also cause the same thing in salty foods and spicy foods, or you know, sometimes I've noticed that dairy products might also cause some puffiness under your eyes. Another great thing you could do the next morning once you wake up, you wash your face and you use the skin icing for your face and especially for the under eye area. It will definitely make your skin look plump and reduce that puffiness. And I would also need to mention here because I know that probably there will be questions about lemon oil being phototoxic. I just need to share with you the information here is that first of all, not all citrus essential oils are phototoxic and not all phototoxic essential oils are phototoxic in the same way. Just a brief example, the grapefruit um, essential oil will be considered phototoxic in the amount of 24 drops. And the bergamot essential oil will be considered phototoxic in the amount of only one drop. If you're interested in essential oils and this information might be really helpful and useful or if you're just starting your journey or you just want to know more because you're using uh, the essential oils in your skincare products. So according to the research that was published in the Tissurens and Jan's book, Essential Oil Sef Safety, the following essential oils are not considered phototoxic. The sweet orange essential oil, the mandarin essential oil, and the steam distilled lemon and lime essential oils. Also tangerine and lemongrass is not phototoxic. Lemongrass is not even citrus essential oil. So now I have, ha I have mentioned that steam distilled lemon essential oil. Well, let's say if you go to the website, uh, pretty often you might see two types of uh, lemon or lime essential oil, the steam distilled and cold pressed. So cold pressed essential oil, lime and lemon, it will be phototoxic as well as grapefruit, bergamot, and bitter orange. So these oils are phototoxic. And I've, I've already mentioned that not all of them are, are created equal. So first of all, in our recipe today, even if you're using the cold pressed um, lemon essential oil, the dilution that we're using is a really minimum. It's a 1% dilution, so that does not make it dangerous for you to go, um, you know, under the sun after it. I just want to make the key points here. First of all, we're using the smallest dilution. The maximum amount of drops um, allowed for lemon essential oil, the cold pressed one, for one ounce would be 12 drops. So today we're using half an ounce of our, the oils, but we are using only four drops. So this makes it safe. So the second point is that we are applying it before going to bed. So by the time we're really, you know, are going to be under the sun, this is going to be a significant amount of time. So that makes it safe. Every time you want to use an essential oil that is considered for the toxic, use less. This is uh, the perfect rule here. Of course, to be on the safest side, you need to apply some sunblock before going outside. But this actually works for you know, normal skincare, applying some sunblock. So if you guys like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I wish you to stay very happy, beautiful, and handsome. I wish you to enjoy every single day of your life. I wish you to be positive. Just remember that you are very strong, that you are putting a lot of work to whatever you're trying to achieve, and uh, you have to believe in yourself, and that really helps a lot. So thanks again, and I'll see you later.